In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 uh, Release Candidate 1 and you can get this by going to Microsoft.com forward slash Windows forward slash Windows dash 7. Alright, so here is the ISO file itself. I'm going to load up VirtualBox and you can get VirtualBox by just googling VirtualBox pretty much. Yeah, I'll have a link to that in the sidebar. So here we go. I'm going to click on New, Next, Windows, Microsoft Windows, Windows 7. I'm going to call this just, uh, let's see, RC1. And I'm going to give this a little over a gig. I'm going to create a new hard disk. Press Next, Next, Finished. Now I'm going to start it up. It's going to ask me for an ISO or a CD drive file. And I'm going to not here. Hold on. Let me remove that. I'm going to add one. Go to my desktop. And sorry. And here it is right here. I'm going to open it up. Select it. Click on next. Finish. And now it's going to run up. Now it's going to start Windows 7. Let me try to fit that in there if you could see all that Windows is loading files starting Windows so I'm pretty sure it's going to have to go through all the install process I'm gonna give you my first thoughts of the Windows 7 RC1 because I did mess around with the beta but only for like a second so here we go, it is doing something, it's loading up the Windows logo on the screen. And now it's, now I could control the mouse, as you can see I'm blocked in. Now let me drag this more to the center. So here we go, it has a nice uh, little background for it. Looks like a little hummingbird right there. Uh, so here we go, uh, install language, English, time and currency phone language is fine, fine. Uh, next, what you want to know before installing Windows, you could click on that if you have not installed uh, Windows, anything of Windows before or any operating system. Uh, if you have, I mean, it's pretty easy to do it. So here we go, it's starting the setup. Uh, this should take a while, so we'll find out. I'll just wait and see if I need to pause this video. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pause it because it's probably going to take a while. Okay, now it, it's going to ask me uh, to install Windows, so here we go. I'm going to accept the license term. Next, uh, upgrade to a new version of Windows keep the your windows files I don't think I have any here I'll click on help me decide and this is you could read through that but I'm just gonna click custom and I'm going to click on this hard drive click on next uh, hold on sorry about that my phone real quick Alright, didn't really miss much. All it did was just load up the screen. So now I'm going to pause the video and uh, let it work its magic. Okay, it finished recording. So, I mean, not recording, sorry. It finished installing. So now I'm just waiting it for it to uh, update registry settings or whatever it has to do. So we'll see how long this is going to take. Probably shouldn't take too long, but I will pause it. Okay, now it's starting up now. Here we go. It's starting up. Set up is starting services. So it's probably going to ask me for my CD key. We'll find out. Wait for it to start up these services. There we go. Wait. Nope. 
whole, uh, I guess I'll find out right now. I want to get a, de a desk arm. Like a mic arm. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I don't know. I would have to get a new microphone, I would think. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm going to make a video on installing th uh, the notebook edition of... I mean, the netbook edition of Ubuntu. Jaunty Jackalope. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting a bigger flash drive right now. My dad's gonna bring one back. So, we'll, I'll wait for that. So, in the meantime, this is still has quite a way to go. So, I'll, I will pause this video. Sorry for pausing it so much, too. <laughs> Okay, this setup, uh, I think finished, so we'll find out. It's still preparing some stuff, but, uh, we'll see. Setup is checking video performance, so it's going to automatically adjust the computer, I guess. The speeds, I guess, of it. That's what I would think it would be doing. So here we go. Uh, type in a username. Okay, next, okay, hold on, I'm gonna pause this video so you, so I could get my CD key. Okay, I typed it in, so now it's, uh, setting up my home network, so it's connecting to the network and applying the settings. Uh, I'm gonna say that I do like this setup, it's a pretty nice, easy st setup. Uh, haven't ran into any issues yet. Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, you do not have to pay for this. I should have said that in the beginning, but yeah. It's just the, uh, beta version, or actually the release candidate version. See, evaluation copy, I should say. I like how it even follows my mouse inside of... Uh, I show you follows my mouse inside of this virtual machine. That's pretty cool. So I don't have to worry about that. So here we go. It says welcome. And virtual box is free. I should have said that in the beginning too. Sorry. So if you want to do this with your computer, you could use virtual box or you could just install it manually by like, I don't know if you want to partition it and then do some other stuff so here we go it's preparing your desktop or my desktop I should say I probably won't use this too much I'll just check it out for a little while and just look at it I do like the user interface of it though it is pretty nice it is actually a really nice user interface it's it's a uh, really clean so here we go preparing my desktop still wait for it to finish I like the background it's a pretty nice background <laughs> the setup process is pretty slow though compared to when I installed my and when I installed leopard on this computer is a lot faster it was just right through 